what's up guys Alex here welcome back to another video hope you guys are feeling well and today I wanted to guys tell you a story what happened to me yesterday with my device and also warn you not to actually downgrade or be careful downgrading your iPhone from the iOS 12 12.1 on any other maybe iOS 12 uh, version in the future because yesterday something happened really really terrible uh, to my device and I had to restore back to what I had in here so the iOS 12.1 so here's the story guys but before we start I wanted to ask you guys if you could enable the uh, notifications to the channel because many of you for some reason are not getting the not notifications and this is so bad so if you could just enable the notification hit the bell icon that would be super much appreciated and now let's get started okay so yesterday I wanted to downgrade my iPhone 10 from an iOS 12.1 beta 1 to the iOS 12 so the reason for that was because my iPhone was glitching so much it had a ton of lags I just simply couldn't use it you know iOS 12 was absolutely just a beast of an operating system seriously but then I updated to the iOS 12.1 beta 1 and it went absolutely terrible uh, on this device and I wanted to downgrade it back to the iOS 12 so I've loaded the IP IPSW into the iTunes downloaded this one separately and and actually flashed this iOS 12 on this device after this it gave me the error and said and it actually went into a recovery mode and it said that I had to connect it, this one to the iTunes uh, for uh, another restoring I thought uh, maybe this is some kind of an error that occurred during the installation let's now flash it again so I did the same thing again and it basically again went into the recovery mode uh, then I thought maybe that's the IPSW that is for some reason corrupted or something is wrong with it so I decided to just update it using the iTunes latest version everything through the iTunes and you know what it basically went into recovery mode again and at that point you know I thought like okay my data is lost there is just one option so I've used it I basically clicked again on the update because thanks to this option you can save your data on your device and I've actually flashed the iOS 12.1 again and you know what everything went smooth of course the device was working and I could use it again without any data loss everything was on here everything went perfectly but I still got my iOS 12.1 and I could not downgrade back to the iOS 12 so right after this I've asked you guys on Twitter whether you had the same story on your personal experience and some of you guys said yes uh, it is still a thing like you cannot downgrade to the iOS 11.4 from the iOS 12 or 11.4.1 and of course all of these firmwares that I'm saying right now are currently signed at this point so it is possible to downgrade but for some reason uh, these backups that you have on your device are not readable by the previous versions of the iOS so for example the backup of the iOS 12.1 uh, will not be read by iOS 12 or 11.4.1 and even one of you guys actually said that he had to go back to the iOS 11.4.1 and after this it gave him the error and of course the screen to connect your iPhone to the iTunes and he had to actually restore the device not update it uh, and actually wipe all of its data and on the setup process where you have you know select a backup maybe restore your iPhone using the backup it was not possible to restore it because his backup was on the iOS 12 and he was flashing the iOS 11.4.1 and of course he couldn't restore his data back so what I'm trying to say here is that please be careful guys well downgrading your iPhone from the iOS 12 to iOS 11.4.1 or even iOS 12.1 to the iOS 12 because for some reason your new backup from the new system will not be read by the previous iOS version and that is the thing and a lot of you guys actually confirmed that and the point of this whole video is just to explain you guys uh, warn you guys that you don't have to downgrade and better not to downgrade your iPhone from an iOS 12 because this can end uh, with of course no data on your iPhone uh, and yeah guys I think that should be pretty much it for today just wanted to basically warn you about this whole thing because to me this was actually really painful yesterday I actually spent around two to three hours just figuring out what is happening with my iPhone I thought I would lose every single piece of my data from my iPhone while downgrading but unfortunately if you have an option to upgrade uh, and still in recovery mode please upgrade to the previous system that you had and this will of course restore all of your data back onto your device and you guys I think that should be pretty much it for today if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more videos like this one on the channel you of course know what to do and as always guys i really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out